Greetings viewers, I am Eric the Car Guy. I'm also known as ETCG1 when I post videos to this channel. And here on ETCG1, we start things off with, hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Please enjoy this digital cake. As you can see, I have changed my venue. I'm out driving the Type R today. And the reason I'm doing this is because I've noticed this summer, I've been driving the Type R quite a bit. But when I'm out just driving normally and I'm, I'm out on the streets with other people, I noticed that even like, well, especially, let's call them lesser cars, regular everyday cars seem to want to challenge me as I'm going along. You know, there, there'll be that minivan that's like flying up in my rear view mirror and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. That's just, just, this is something I just don't experience while driving my other cars. It just happens when driving the Type R. Now I've owned other Integras, plenty of other Integras. In fact, I believe this is my seventh Integra but none of them have had like Type R written on the side or on the back or some fart can sticking out the back, some shiny muffler, that kind of thing. So I think this puts this car in a category of a sports car and people perceive it as such. Whereas they don't necessarily do any of this stuff with the GSR. The GSR just looks like a regular silver car. You know, I've got all this, this stuff on this car and this car has a certain look and it just seems to attract a certain type of attention. And that attention seems to be people being like, oh, look, it's a race car. Let's, let's either drive up really fast to it or, or try to push them to go faster or it's, it's odd. It's, it's really odd. And uh, I'm driving out today to see if maybe I can capture some of this on camera uh, to see if there's you know, somebody out there who wants to, to do this type R challenge, if you will. So here we are on just like one of the regular roads that has some stoplights and stuff. And let's just see if, if this comes true. But while we're waiting, uh, how about you? I mean, do you drive a sports car that's obviously a sports car? And do you have people that, you know, seem to come up and try to like goad you into driving fast or driving faster, even though you're going the speed limit? Like right now I'm driving the speed limit, I'm going 50. And there's this guy coming up behind me, which honestly isn't common on this road or isn't uncommon on this road for somebody to come up and try to blow past you. That's kind of normal sports car or not. But I'm talking about those people who seem to be like goading you into a, a race or something like that. And if you drive a sports car, I'm curious about those of you that are out there, are you experiencing this? Do you find that, that when you're just driving along normally, minding your own business, that you've got people out there that are trying to, you know, just push you into some kind of race situation? I'm very curious about this and the psychology of it because Honestly, when I stop and think about it, this is really the first sports car I've ever owned. I mean, I've worked on plenty, I've driven plenty, but I'm not living with them like I'm living with this car on a daily basis. And it's different, it's different. It's a lot of fun, I enjoy driving it, but it kind of gets old sometimes with these people who are like, ah, you must go faster. Or they, like I said, they're just very aggressive. <laughs> And I'm curious if other people out there that own sports cars deal with the same situations, let me know. But, you know, I kind of feel like it is a sports car. I know it goes fast. I don't really feel like I have anything to prove. Sure, there are times when I'm on my back road and I'm by myself and I'm just like, hey, let's, let's see what this thing can do. When other times, you know, I'm just wanting to get from point A to point B, which is most of the time. And that's, that's when these challenges seem to come up. Like I said, they're are people that just, for whatever reason, want to push me into a race. So, the question is to you, we, we didn't find anybody doing it today, unfortunately, but the question is to you, the viewers, do you own a sports car and do people challenge you while you drive just while you're trying to be out there driving normally? Um, what are your experiences with driving said sports car or muscle car or whatever it is um, that has, uh, you know, sort of colored your experience, your, your sports car driving experience. I'm curious if this is just a phenomenon that I'm experiencing in particular, or if it's just something that happens when you drive a performance car. Maybe that's why you have more expensive insurance. Anyway, uh, if you have automotive questions, ericthecarguy.com, linked in the description. Uh, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video with the world. Also share your thoughts on this. I mean, even if you don't own, own a sports car, are you out there driving and you see a sports car and are you like, hey, I've, I've got to get close to it or, or I've got to see if my Civic is faster. <laughs> Stuff like that. Uh, I'd love to hear about it in the comments, so please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching today. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty, and I will see you next time.